Hey guys, don't mind the shit in the background, just filming something for just a video I'll have online in a few days, just trying something different. Anyway, I am really happy, because after all these years of just being blue-balled by Capcom time after time, of them just making us fans feel like we're totally worthless in their eyes, that, you know, it's impossible for us to make any money off a Mega Man game nowadays. Nobody wants Mega Man in this day and age. If we made any kind of game that was more expensive than, like, X over, we'd starve to death because no one would buy it. No one would pay money for it. Yeah, tell that to Inafune and his all-star team of, of guys who have worked on all these Mega Man games. Mega Man 1, you know, the, the other Mega Man games. The Mega Man Zero and ZX games. The Star Force games. All this stuff. Musicians. Concept artists. Just... Ah, these people coming together. Just all these talented people, many of whom worked for Capcom at one point, and who kind of made it what it is. You know, like, you know how people say, like, Capcom was great back in the day, but now they're just a bunch of feebs who don't know what they're doing. Well, here's all the people who made it so great in the first place. They've just, they've, like, like they've, they've disconnected from Capcom and have become their own entity. A new Neo-Capcom, if you will. And I just so excited because we have this new spiritual successor to Mega Man. And let's face it, this is a Mega Man game. It's not a Mega Man game in name, but it has so many traits that now are not only reminiscent of the Mega Man games, but just make it feel so much like them. It was, it was obviously intended to like fill that hole in all our hearts that has been there since Capcom just stopped treating Mega Man with it like it was worth anything. Because, like, it is just so stupid how for years they have just been pissing off, uh, off us fans because they just didn't think there were that many of us. And they're just, like, so terrified of trying anything with Mega Man. And then you've got Inafune, who knows what we want, who actually cares about the fans, for whom this isn't just a business. Taking the approach they took with Legends 3, you know, with a fan input and everything, asking us what we want, letting us participate in it. And this time, it's not going to be shit-canned. This time, there's no stupid executives telling him, Uh-uh, we are going to make this because it's going to flop, because we're not going to make any money off of it. And to those of you who have a problem with this being a Kickstarter campaign, think of it this way. If he got the money from some corporate giant, they would in have some influence in how the game turned out. It would no longer be the work of art that they're trying to make it, it would be changed and twisted and mangled and bastardized to accommodate those figureheads, to the, 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 those bigwigs, based on what they think is popular nowadays. What their focus groups tell them is going to sell in this market. And this is the sickness of Capcom and too many other companies. They aren't willing to just make games. They just want to make things that they're sure will make them money. And that's why there hasn't been a Mega Man game of any substance in years, because they just don't believe in him. They don't have any faith that any kind of Mega Man game would break even. And now it's time for us to prove them wrong with a Mighty Number no. 9, which looks awesome. I am just so excited. And at the time of this video, at the time of this recording, they've already got, what is it? St Six, uh, just about six hundred and seventy thousand dollars. They're already two thirds of the way there in a day and a half. Like yesterday, when I saw they had gotten like a hundred thousand, I thought eh, it's gonna slow down after a little while. But as long as they get like what a thousand and five hundred dollars a day until October, they'll be just fine. You know, this is in the bag. But to see that they're already like two thirds of the way there, it's just crazy. And it's our chance to prove those fuckheads at Capcom that they are wrong. That we are still here. That we do have a voice. That there is a market for this kind of game. Because it's made for us. For those of us who have been deprived of this sort of thing for years, this is our chance to come together to join Inafune, to support him with this ultimate passion project. And I really hope to high heaven that this succeeds. That it more than succeeds. Because it'll be Inafune's chance and our chance to just rub it in Capcom's face like, yeah, you see how stupid you are being? Mega Man is still relevant. <sighs> Good luck, Inafune.
I, I hope that this at least meets the stretch goal of being on Steam, so I will be able to play it. If it winds up on consoles, even better! And it's just... I'm just... This is... It's like the second coming. It's like... For so long, I've just been thinking, there's nothing over the horizon. Nothing good is gonna come our way. This is it. This is the end. That's... And now, finally... I have something worth being excited about. I mean, yeah, there's the Archie comics, which I really like, and then there's uh, Mega Man being in, in the next Smash Bros. game, but this, this is... 669,000! They've already made a thousand more dollars since I started, since like, like, this I just mentioned it a moment ago. You see how fast this is going? You see how crazy this is? Again, this is our chance to pay Capcom back. To make them look like idiots. To show the world that they are wrong. We are here. We want the Blue Bomber. And if we can't have him, then we'll have a successor. Something that's close enough to what he was like for us to just revel in it. I've, I've said enough. As you can guess, I'm pretty happy. I know I'm being obnoxious and condescending in this video, but come on, for like the past, what, two and a half years, three years, I have just been so, just, uh, not even mad at Capcom, just really disappointed in them, and now I finally have this. Bless you, Inafune. You are what's right with gaming. While there's so much wrong with gaming, there are still visionaries like you. Who understand that the whole point of gaming isn't just to make money, it's to give the, the customers something to be happy about, and then they'll reward you with that money. And after everything he's done for us, all the cool games that he and these other people have been attached to, it's time for us to give them a helping hand, to return the favor, so that they can bring us at least one more adventure with something resembling Mega Man. So come on, go for it, guys. Give them your best. This is our chance. For all of these years to be worth it. <laughs> okay, I, I know, I sound like a crazy person now. Really, though, these last several years, this is it. <laughs>